Okay, so it's late and it's Sunday and I was going to go home, but for some reason in my head I decided to try this and actually it's so bizarre, I thought I'd just got to share this now. Um, we were doing that thing on the carbon cell, the all carbon battery, and of course when you do these kind of things, what you do is you fall back on what you know previously. So if you're going to make a battery, well you need an anode, you need the cathode, you need a separator, and you need an electrolyte, and it makes a lot of sense, and that's how we constructed it. Now, it occurred to me for some reason, I don't know why, but it occurred to me that what we'd actually done was encapsulate the carbon and graphite in a kind of waterproof matrix, so maybe we'd included the separator already in there. So I decided to give it a go based on that idea. So here we have the bit of paper with the graphite side facing upward, and here's my bit of paper, and that's the carbon side, so we're going to lay one on top of the other. So let's just connect them up. Now they're still slightly damp, because, of course, they've been um, soaked in electrolyte previously, so they've still got a slight bit of dampness in there. And if I put the one on top of the other... <laughs> I mean, look at that! That's the volt reading, incidentally. 0 0.432 volts. Um, that's mad! There's no separator in there. That's two layers of carbon straight on top of each other, different kinds of carbon, slightly dampened with an electrolyte and it's generating 0.436 volts. Anybody get any ideas? I haven't. I mean, what is going on in there? But how fascinating is that? We can actually construct an all-carbon battery without a separator. That's just <laughs> gonna be wild, really. It's so bizarre, I thought I'd share it with you right now. So I hope you found it interesting because I found it absolutely fascinating. And um, thank you very much for watching.